Hello and welcome to Lord of the Board. My name is Sam Smith and today we are going to be doing a strategy guide on Scar in the Disney Villainous board game. So Scar has a goal where he has to collect 15 succession in his succession pile. Succession is made up of the strength of the fate cards in his deck. First thing you're going to have to do though is to kill Mufasa in your fate deck and then you can begin killing other fate cards and bringing them into your succession pile. Once you have a pile that is worth 15 or more succession, you have to wait until the start of your turn and if you still have 15 or more, you will win the game. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go through some of his cards, his four locations in his realm, and then lastly, at the end of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and give you three tips and strategies to help you play Scar better. So with that, let's go ahead and begin the guide. Long Live the King is a great card. What you do is you reveal the top four cards in the top of your fate deck, and you get to choose and play one and discard the rest. This is gonna be very helpful in finding Mufasa, but just because you find Mufasa, say, your first time, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to play Mufasa on your board. In fact, what I would recommend is just waiting for when you're ready for Mufasa to be on the board. Don't let him sit there and cover up spaces on your board. But really, look for opportunities to get rid of powerful fate cards when you do this. Cards like Hakuna Matata, Nala, and Rafiki's Staff, as well as Rafiki. These are going to be cards that you're going to want to make sure that you get out of there into your discard as soon as possible. Another great effect card is Be Prepared. And just like the famous song, Scar is all about preparation in this game. And what you're gonna be doing when you play this card is grab the top three cards of your deck, put them in your discard pile, and then you can either grab one effect card from your deck or two ally cards. You're definitely gonna to wanna to use this to grab important hyenas out of your deck and reuse them for more vanquishing. But another thing that you can do is to grab a Long Live the King card out of your discard pile and kind of reuse that in order to churn through the fate deck as well. Shenzi is one of the more powerful hyenas out of the three that you have, and it's going to be the one that you're going to want to play and try to always use during vanquish actions. The reason for that is that if you get her into the discard pile, you can use cards like Be Prepared to get her back and reuse her again, because when you play her, you can summon another hyena at her location for free, which is a super great ability that you want to take advantage of every time you can. Ed the Hyena should always go in the place that I would call your feeding grounds, the place where you are going to be placing all of your hyenas or the bulk of them in order to have that be the place where you're really able to send in those fates and kill them at that one location. And by far the most important card in your deck is the Hungry Hyena. Now you might think, oh my gosh, two power for only a one strength card, not a really good deal. But these are amazing because the more you have at the same location, they add to each other's strength. So if you have one hyena, it's just one strength. But if you have two hyenas at the location, they're each worth two strength. Therefore, you have a total of four strength at that location with only two hyenas. Three, each one's going to be a total of three strength. So it really gets very compounded and you're able to use those sometimes even a single hyena can be used to destroy Mufasa with the six strength you just got to keep piling those hungry hyenas in the same location Injustice is one of the conditions in Scar's deck and usually I always say don't hold on to conditions but with Injustice if it's later in the game there is some really powerful fate cards that can actually screw up your entire gameplay. So I would actually keep Injustice in your hand if it's kind of getting towards the time where you have maybe 11 to 14 succession in your pool. That way when an opponent does fate you to try to mess you over, you can actually have a little chance to discard something really, really powerful before getting faded. Stick With Me is another great effect at Scar's disposal. And one thing that I like to do is I like to, like I said, have one main location be where you put all of your hyenas and have that be really the killing or feeding grounds for your hyenas. But I also like to have a couple straggler hungry hyenas at different locations. One would be the gorge because that has the vanquish action. That would be a really good place to use the Stick With Me effect where you can actually use one of the action symbols at a location that 
that one of your hyenas is at. So kind of manipulating, you know, a couple, put a couple of those hyenas in different locations. That way you can kind of take advantage of vanquishing when you're not necessarily at a vanquished spot. This can be one of the best ways to get a lot of vanquishes in a small amount of time. And another great card is Stampede. This card, you play it and it moves a hero at that location to an adjacent location, and then you can perform a vanquish action at that location. You're going to want to do this at the adjacent locations to that place where you've piled all of your hyenas. Feeding Frenzy is another great effect card with a, one of the most powerful things. You can save so many turns in one go by using Feeding Frenzy. This can be great if, let's say you've piled all your hyenas in one location, but then a very, very important fate comes up in a different location like Mufasa or somebody that you realize needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. Well, Feeding Frenzy can actually move as many of those hyenas as you want to a different single location. This can be so, so good good so when you get this card maybe hold on to it I mean this is definitely one that's more situational but I'd find that it's going to really save a lot of power and turns if you're able to use this at a good time in your game and now that we have looked at his cards let's go ahead and look at the four locations in Scar's realm now the first location is Pride Rock. This is where you can get two power, you can play two cards, and you can move an item or an ally. This is a really good location to gain power early on, and this is definitely one of the locations that I think that you should cycle back and forth between during the early game to collect that power. But with that being said, it's definitely gonna be one of those locations that you're gonna be using less and less as the game drags on because this position doesn't really have a lot of things that are going to benefit you later in the game, except for moving items or allies. There's gonna be some other spots that you're probably gonna to wanna to use a little bit more. And the second location in Scar's Realm is the Savannah. Here you can play a card, you can also use a fate action, and you can discard cards and gain one power. And so one of the things that I like about the Savannah is that you can fate, but it's probably not going to last long. So whenever you go here, make sure to use those fates wisely, as well as always discard those extra cards that you don't need at that time. And the Elephant Graveyard is by far the best location, in my opinion, for Scar. And the reason for this is that you can discard cards, you can play two cards, and you can gain three power. And I personally love to use this location as a spot for my killing grounds. I like to have this be the spot where I pile all of my hyenas because I want you, the opponents not to play cards at this location. If you have a three power and play two card space open all the time, this is going to be such a beneficial spot for you throughout the game. And the Gorge is the last location in Scar's Realm and is probably equally as important as the Elephant Graveyard because it has the single and only Vanquish action. This will be very important to you throughout the game because if you're not able to use Stick With Me effects in order to get those Vanquish actions or Stampedes, this is going to be the only place that you can actually vanquish the heroes in your realm. And now that we have looked at the four locations in Scar's Realm, let's go ahead and look at the three tips and strategies that I have for you. So my first tip as Scar is to fate often. In fact, one of the best strategies is that when you're fading, you're going to want to put those heroes that you're able to play and cover up the top fate actions on your opponent's board. You have to try to do everything you can to prevent getting faded as Scar because the fates are so important but also very powerful against you as Scar. So you're going to want to try to limit any opportunity that they have to fate you. My other tip is to actually vanquish frequently. Now this is something that I see a lot of players do and I think it's a really big mistake is that they find that you know vanquishing and getting rid of their hyenas is going to be very dangerous because then they're not going to have enough hyenas to defeat Mufasa. If you're not consistently fading you're going to find that you're going to be overrun buy the fate cards in your realm and you're not going to be able to do anything and you're going to be really locked up. So it's okay to spend those hyenas. In fact, that's really what they're there for. It's actually really good because there's a lot of cards out there to help you grab those hyenas and bring them back into your hand, as well as you can discard cards and churn through your deck really quickly as Scar as he has those two locations to do that. 
And lastly, I've been talking about it this whole time, be prepared. You're also gonna to wanna to pile all of those hyenas in one secured location. I think the best location would be the elephant graveyard. It's been what's working for me and my playgroups, but others have said that the gorge is actually a better location. And so in that case, I think find your location that works best for you. The elephant graveyard just has a lot of options because it has two adjacent locations. So that's why I say start off there. If it doesn't feel right for your gaming group, then transition to a different location for your next game. Find out what works for you and the dynamics in your group. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This has been an absolute blast to make and it was really, really fun to finally cover an expansion character in this great game that I love. So if you really enjoyed this and if it helped you, please go ahead and subscribe as well as leave a like and comment down below what your favorite character in the Disney Lion King movie is. As well as before you go, if you wanna know when my next video is released, which I'm gonna be continuing to release these expansion villains, go ahead and click the bell notification to be notified when my next video video is out. But with that, thank you so much for watching guys. Let's drop the beat.